What's up, nerdlings? What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for VGM? What's up, guys? This is Jay from the Game Chasers, and you are watching Do You Nerd? It's a new year for some old games. Let's get into this. There's your boy, Floyd. Video Games Monthly. VGM is the monthly subscription service that sends retro games right to your door. You do not send them back. You keep them forever and ever. All you have to do is fill out a list of the games that you already own, pick out the systems that you want to get games for, and choose a tier of how many games you want them to send to you. Lady Lacey, let's tear into this. She likes to give me hints to see if I can guess what we got in here. Because part of the fun of this is the surprise. It's a surprise. Oh, you spoiled the surprise. All right, so their business card that tells you to uh, populate that list, update it with the new game games that you got from here, and to post pictures on their social media. You could win more. Here's your free gift. A lot of money. Oh. We're rich. We're rich, we're rich, we're rich. One million Mushroom Kingdom bucks. Boom. So long, suckas. We're out. Not going to work anymore. <laughs> this is pretty cute. I think you once got me a Zelda one. I think I did, yes. The United States of America. So apparently this is legal tender in our country as okay. well. You we don't have to nice. warp all the way to the Mushroom Kingdom. Nice. Obviously Super Mario's right there. And then on the back, it's got just a little bit of everyone. <laughs> Wario being a little politician there. <laughs> <laughs> Wario. That's funny. All right, are you ready for our up count? Yes. Pudding. A pudding. Nice. A two up. It's a double not Tony box. <laughs> double not Tony. Sorry, nudie magazine boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, first out of the box, it's a handheld. And it's a game. Hold my hand. It's a game that I got when I was a kid, but I didn't beat until recently. Oh, uh, Little Mermaid. Yes. I'm very curious to try this out now, especially having played the other one all the time as a kid, not realizing I was so close to the end until Captain Algebra played it, and I realized <laughs> I was at the end when I was a kid. That is funny, yeah. He inspired you to go <laughs> ahead did. and finish it up. And it will be very curious to check it out on the Game Boy, because mm -hmm. sometimes back in the day, you would get a game from the NES kind of ported down to the Game Boy. Sometimes you would get a brand new experience. We have a another handheld. Okay. And we're sticking with the same family. But was it a game about one of her seven sisters? No, I meant the the handheld family. <laughs> this one, uh, you'll be proud of me because I can't read the writing on it, but I recognize the characters on it. Okay. And I crocheted you one of these characters. Well, it must be a slime because I think the only other things he crocheted for me were uh, mushrooms. Uh-huh. So if it's slimes, it must be a Dragon Quest game. I think. Ooh, oh, for a second, I wondered if it was Dragon Quest 1 and 2 on Game Boy. Because it just says, all I can read is monsters. Monsters. So... But I can't read anything I else. I think there was a series just called Dragon Quest Monsters. So there's a couple of slimes on there. And yeah, with all the monsters that it has here on the cover, I think the game, the series was uh, kind of like in the vein of maybe Pokemon, but with characters from the Dragon Quest that world. That was going to be my first guess was it was going to allude to being a Japanese Pokemon type but then I saw the slime. Which is funny because if you look at this green slime here, right behind Looks him. Looks like Psyduck. Yeah, if he put on a few pounds. Well, Psyduck kind of <laughs> does sometimes. Well, this will be curious because this is a Japanese cartridge. 
but how much Japanese will you really need to know? I mean, once it comes to, like, choosing attacks, if it's kind of like a Pokemon game, you can just kind of, uh, you know, randomly <laughs> throw out some kind of attack, hope it's the Fireball. This lesson is brought to you by Fireball Whiskey. Fireball. Drink it out of a, out of a paper cup. Don't be a dick about it. All right, so we're moving away from the handhelds. Okay. We've got a uh, Super Famicom game here. Okay, I like to get the Super Famicom games. As long as they're not like the visual novels where it's like, yeah, no, that's... Well, there's that, a I'm not very large, muscular man on here with just suspenders on. And he's got a friend next to him, also rather muscular, with a knife in his hand. Okay, well... Up until the knife, I was thinking it was some kind of wrestling game. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it does look like there's some wrestlers in the background. Oh, gosh. They're... Is this, like, bad It's a dudes? Capcom game. I think that was a Capcom game. No, it's not that. It's not bad dudes. <laughs> no, it's from the 90s. Well, yeah, that's when the system was out. <laughs> 1990. Oh, my gosh, it's Final Fight. <laughs> Final Fight, of course, is the Super Nintendo brawler equivalent to the uh, Sega Genesis Streets of Rage games. And there's always a lot of debate on which one is better. I grew up with Final Fight, so I had more of an affinity to it. But the one on Super Nintendo, and I'm going to guess that the Super Famicom is the same. It bugged me because you couldn't play two player. And it's like, what fun is a brawler yeah. with just one player? walking around beating up all the thugs and there were two characters and i think the arcade version you could even do two players so when they ported it they lost that and then when you had the sequels you could play two players so it's like what what were you doing with this guys regardless i did have a lot of fun with final fight so this will be fun to check out and see if there's any differences between this one and the american one yeah oh my god we're sticking with nintendo Okay. That's a Japanese one. Another Japanese. Oh. Japanese 64 one. Oh. Oh. A Japanese 64 game? Mm hmm. We'll have to talk to Telesplash and see if this is a bum deal. <laughs> well, there is a little yellow creature on the cover, and he wants his picture taken. <laughs> Pokemon Snap? <laughs> yeah. It looks like a Bond cover. It really does. <laughs> Pikachu is 007. But I like how they made it look like the Pokeball and the camera Pika, lens is the, Pika. the white part. And it looks like it has a spot here so you can write your name on it. Well, this will be interesting. You know, I really didn't play any Pokemon Snap until way after the fact, like more on a whim just to try out <laughs> Pokemon Snap. Uh, I know that, is it Professor Oak, who's like such a jerk though with judging your pictures? This isn't a very good picture, is it? Neither it's like, are you. It's like, well, you can get out there and take your own pictures. <laughs> Stop asking me if I'm a boy or a girl and see what my mom is up to, you creepy old man. <laughs> oh God. I'm gonna catch them all. Woo. The final game, continuing the Nintendo love. So this is an all Nintendo oh. box. Oh, sorry, Sega fans. And it's a blue case, so that makes it a Wii U game. Okay. Oh, gosh. I was thinking PS4, but we haven't signed up for that one yet. <laughs> Wrong blue. And it's a Lego game. Oof. I would say I don't know if that narrows it down much, but I don't think there were a whole lot of Lego games on the Wii U. I think it wasn't around long enough. Think Tiny Arms. <laughs> Tiny arms? Uh-huh. Who has tiny arms? Look at me have tiny arms! Rawr. <laughs> I think I got it. The RAR set me off. Did the RAR give it away? Are you a 
Clever girl. <laughs> I am a clever girl. <laughs> oh my gosh, the games can't even take this cheese. <laughs> so Lego Jurassic Park, or Jurassic World, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Nice, very nice. Uh, we actually I think played. I'm a very clever girl. We played through this one on the PS4, yes. wasn't it? Yeah. Um, this was pretty fun too. It was. It was a lot of fun. They did a really great job of giving you the chance to play as different dinosaurs, and even though they were so slow, whenever you got to play as like a Brontosaurus or something, that was like so <laughs> yes. huge. The way it pulls the camera out, yeah. it did a great job of giving you that sense of scale. I like playing as a little Okapi. You could also play as like all kinds of iterations of, uh, oh, what, what was his name? Goldboom's character from it. Dr. Malcolm. Dr. Malcolm, yeah. Ian Malcolm. Didn't, uh, didn't they even have like the shirtless version of him in there? Nice, yeah, yeah. Of course you remember them. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good lineup as long as you're a Nintendo fan. So if you're a Sega, Sony, or Microsoft fan, man, you got burned with this one. <laughs> but I, like I do like got. having a game I like having a game that we can play together Yes. and even though we already played through it on PS4 it's always nice to be able to go back and revisit mm -hmm. it we have a lot of fun with the, Lego, love games. the Lego games so it's the perfect excuse it's like oh well we had so much fun but we already beat it oh we didn't beat this version <laughs> and I'm excited to check out Final Fight Super Famicom to see if it's any different than the Super Nintendo one Paul is talking <laughs> up a storm in the background I hope you guys can hear that <laughs> hi Paul hi. this would be neat to see if they put any additional stages in there because I think they took some out for the Super Nintendo one uh, we'll talk to Chris about the bum deal. Well, he doesn't know because he only does the American that, version. That's true. And uh, we got some uh, pocket monster Dragon Quest flavor. Something. And then the Little Mermaid for yep. you. So, yeah, it looks like uh, looks like you need to get on top of that. I do need and to. And see if yeah. you can knock another Little Mermaid game off your list. Okay, well, nerdlings, please leave some comments down below what you think of any of these games. Or the big bucks here. What you think of that? I think we need to go shopping. More games! <laughs> Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Subscribe, hit the notification bell because the year's just started. We've got 11 more boxes, hopefully, coming our way. So, you know, BGM, <laughs> I hope you picked up some more games to, to send our way. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we have merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. They also have merchandise. And if we like it, we nerd it for tiny arms. The new dawn, it's I a new day. You <laughs> <laughs> Don't use that one. <laughs> Future Tom, I hope you're listening. Put the month over these so you can cover them up. So, VGA January.